In this lecture, we'll see a C program to print digits 1 to 5 in reverse order using a for loop. So the expected output of this program is this. We will be starting with digit 5, then on the next line 4, on the next line 3, then 2, and then 1. In the last lecture, we have seen a C program to print digits 1 to 5 in an ascending order. Here is a logic for that program, which gave us this output. So here we can see that digits are getting printed in an ascending order. Now to print the same digits in descending order, we have to make some changes in this loop. Let's see what changes are required. So here I'll be starting with the very first change. That is the value of counter variable will be five. For condition, I'll make this condition to greater than or equal to one. And here, Instead of increment operator, I'll be providing decrement operator. The rest of the statements will be as is. I'll save the program. After saving the program, we can go to execute option and compile the code first. Here we can see that this code has zero error, zero warnings. We can go back to execute and run the program. And here is the expected output of this program. Let's try to understand the flow of execution. So in the for loop, we have taken the initial value of counter variable as 5. Here I'll put counter is equal to 5. Then it will check the condition if the value of counter variable is greater than or equal to 1 or not. So here it will check if 5 is greater than or equal to 1 or not. As the condition is true, it will come inside the body of the for loop where it will print the value of counter variable and 5 will be printed here. As we can see, along with person D, backslash N is given. Backslash N denotes a new line. So once the value will be printed, the control will go to the next line. Once a statement inside the body of the for loop will be executed, the flow of control will jump to this section where we are decrementing the value of counter variable by 1. So here, the value of counter variable will become 5 minus 1, which is equal to 4. After decrementing the value, again it will check the condition if 4 is greater than equal to 1 or not. As the condition is true, it will come down to the printf statement where the value of counter variable will be printed. So this time it will be giving us 4. Again it will jump back to this decrement section. So now this time the value of counter variable will become 4 minus 1, which is 3. Again, it will check the condition if 3 is greater than equal to 1 or not. As this condition is true, 3 will be printed. After printing 3, the value of counter variable will be decremented by 1. So here it will become 3 minus 1, which will give us 2. It will check if 2 is greater than equal to 1 or not. As the condition is true, this time it will print 2. Again, it will decrement the value of counter variable by 1. So here it will make 2 minus 1, which will give us 1. It will check if 1 is greater than equal to 1 or not. As 1 is equal to 1, the condition is true. So this time it will be printing 1. Again, it will decrement the counter variable by 1. So this time, the value of counter variable will become 1 minus 1, which will give us 0. Here, it will check the condition if 0 is greater than or equal to 1 or not. As we know, 0 is neither greater nor equal to 1. It means the condition is false, so it will terminate the for loop. So the final output of this program is going to be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's what we can see here. If you enjoyed this content, please like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, P for Programming. Thank you.